But let me tell you something. I have the greatest life in the world. I, I figured out those, those confusing times, the mix-ups, the mistakes I made, the losses I had. And, you know, we have a tendency to fight on. Right. And, you know, I had to pick myself up, dust off my pants, and move on. Not once, a few times. And, you know, I, I picked wrong people. I made mistakes. But I cleaned it up. I see my father at, the, at the, where he was buried, and I spent an hour with him, two hours with him, and talked to him and tried to make peace with it. And, you know, I made peace for whatever he felt I did wrong. And it helped me to turn the page a little bit and to start moving forward and to change those attractions of dysfunction that I grew up with him. And when you do that, you have a tendency of meeting the same people. Like, you know, I, I hung around people who struggled. There was struggling going on in their home. I made it to the finals of the Olympic trials right. in 1976, and I told them, I'm sorry, I can't make it. I came back from Europe. I had four knockouts. Uh, I, 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 the Russian team came to town. I knocked the Russian out. I never showed up on the, one of the most biggest days of my life. And maybe I couldn't have made it, but I could have grown from that opportunity. And that's what part of my story is, just to, to fight on and to jump in the water. You know, take the risk, and uh, and then I'll tell you one of the one of the terrible story of my life was May 11th, 1981. I'm ranked one in the world. I started drinking that night. Really, and around and, right after the and you know, 13 time. months later, I fought Holmes. Yeah, and I got stopped in the 13. Almost like I self sabotaged myself. Listening to those voices growing up in my house, I kind of set that up, and I felt like I started drinking because if I couldn't beat Holmes. It wasn't me, it was the booze. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy how the mind works. So it was more mental. Oh, did you see that, bro? Everybody loved Jerry Cooney. It was like, how do you cope with that? How do you trust it? Right. I learned not to trust. Right. And so drinking helped me hide behind that. And drinking was the vehicle that helped me to get to that place. And that was a lot of mistakes. So my story is, you know, is of triumph. I, I, I succeeded. I got through the fight. I got stopped in the 13th round. We had a great fight. Um, I made a lot of money. And my story is to, to help the people coming forward to not fall in that hole. You know, my story was I got up, I got dressed, I walked down the street, I fell in the hole. I dusted off my pants, went about my... I teach it now. It's the greatest feeling in the world to teach, to give kids hope. I needed someone to grab me by the arm when I knocked out Norton and say, come on, come with me, it's important now, let's pay attention. I didn't have that, I didn't yeah, trust 